Today we're going to look at getting the most current version of Golang onto your Ubuntu 20.04 server or workstation. And this is something that's not particularly difficult, but I'm going to cover it because one of the things is that sometimes you need to update without using the built-in repositories. And that requires a couple of things. So let's first off uh, go ahead and prove that we don't have Golang already installed. So as you can see, if we do a go, it suggests installing the package. And in this case, we have version uh, 1.14.7, but the current version is 1.14.9. So I want to install the latest. So I'm going to go ahead and CD into a temp directory. I'm going to use a wget to download the tar file. And we're just going to paste in the URL for the tar file. So we're going to go ahead and download that. And once it's finished downloading, we're just going to do a quick uh, extract. So we're going to use the tar-xvf and then the name of the file to extract it. Now, once that's done, which is going to be a very, very quick process, even on this small VM, um, we're going to be able to go ahead and then move the content to what will be our final directory. So in this case, I'm going to use the uh, usr slash local and I'm going to copy the contents of our newly created uh, Go directory into that. So if I just have a look and show you the contents of our newly extracted directory, we have all the, the binaries and other files. And what we're going to do is just move that across. So we're going to use the uh, MV for move, uh, Go for the folder, and the destination in this case being the slash uh, USR slash local. So that's the new uh, root directory. Now, once that's done, we have everything we need with the exception of our bash shell knowing where to find these files. So what to do next? Um, well, I'm going to clean up first of all the directory that I previously created. So I'm going to use the rm for remove and dash rf to forcibly remove. So our go directory is now gone from our temp directory. So it only exists in the location which I want it to be. And that's kind of useful because maybe if I download a version later, I want to make sure that I don't have that old directory hanging around. Now, if I do a go version, as you can see, I still get prompted because I don't have those path uh, mapped out. So I can do the export path and then I can happily do again the go version. And I now get a go version, which is partly good, but not exactly ideal, because you see, if I launch a new bash shell and do it again, uh, it does help if I type correctly, we're back to square one because it's again asking me to do the install. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit our bash script. So um, if you're in the home directory, you can just go uh, anno edit. What I'd like to do is go down to the bottom of the bash file here. You could theoretically just append to the file, but we're just going to do it manually. I create a section called user settings and I'm going to use the export commands into this. So now every time our bash shell opens up, I will get the root directory for Go added. So I'm just going to save that. And there are a couple of options available to me. I could close and reopen the shell, or you can actually use the source, which is the other way of doing this. So we can say, okay, uh, first of all, prove a point, still no working Go version. Um, but if I do source and then tell it the location of the bash file, so what it's going to do is basically force a refresh of the, the bash script. So now I should be able to run Go, and as you can see, we get a response. And since this is now in the configuration file for my profile, every time I open, it now works. And it's that simple. And now I have a working version of Go, which is the current and latest with my bash shell.